Welcome back. In this video, we're going to make Python do some math. OK, check out this program. It uses a mathematical operator, the plus operator to be exact. The program evaluates the result of 2 plus 2 and prints the result to the screen. You can also use a mathematical expression when assigning to a variable. This is effectively the same as setting my number to 4. Then check it out. You can also use variables in mathematical expressions. So here we have two variables, and we can print the sum. Here's a quick rundown of the most common operators you'll use in Python. I'd recommend reviewing this slide on your own after watching this video. Uh, I'm just going to call out a few of these in particular. Exponentiation is just taking one number to the power of another number. So in this example, we take 3 to the power of 2, or 3 squared, and the result is 9. The modulus operator finds the remainder when you divide one number by another. In the example, dividing 17 by 3 results in a remainder of 2. Then I want to give some special attention to the last operator because it is the only one that only applies to one number. The negation operator is different from the subtraction operator. It takes the negative of a number. So in this example, we use it with the number 3, and the result is just negative 3. The negation operator is an example of what's called a unary operator, and that means that it only applies to one thing, whatever is to the right of it. Most of the operators occur between two things, a left side and a right side, and these are called binary operators. An important concept related to mathematical operators is the idea of operator precedence. This is a set of rules that determines when different pieces of an expression get evaluated. You might remember this as PEMDAS from algebra. Uh, we didn't discuss parentheses as an operator, but it's important to know that everything in parentheses is evaluated first, then exponentiation expressions are evaluated, then negation expressions, then multiplication, integer division, and modulus expressions are all evaluated from left to right. And finally, addition and subtraction expressions are evaluated from left to right. Uh, this is a lot of information, but hopefully it'll make more sense when we go through an example. So here's an expression, and let's see how Python would evaluate it if it were found somewhere in a program. Remember, we always start with everything in parentheses, and in this case, the only expression in parentheses is just 1 plus 1, so that's pretty easy to evaluate. The next thing Python evaluates is the exponentiation expression, because exponentiation has higher priority than subtraction and division. Then we evaluate the division expression, and remember this is integer division, so the result is just 4. And then we're just left with a single subtraction expression, and the result is 2. All right, since that was so much fun, we're going to do another one. Uh, this one's a little trickier because you have nested parentheses. And with nested parentheses, just remember that you evaluate from the inside out. So the first expression that we evaluate is in the middle there, 3 minus 2 times 2. Within that expression, the multiplication operator has a higher priority than the subtraction operator, so we evaluate that first. Then we evaluate 3 minus 4. Then we're left with a simple addition expression in parentheses, so we evaluate that. And finally, we're left with a simple exponentiation expression. And the final result is 25. Note that even though exponentiation had higher priority than multiplication, addition, or subtraction, because of the way the parentheses were arranged, it was the last operator to be evaluated. Just a quick note on floats, and that's that operators work more or less the same way on floats as they do with integers. 